It's been another deadly weekend across Hampton Roads as local gun violence continues. We have a lot to get to, but first we're going to start with the latest incident coming out of Suffolk. Police are investigating a double shooting near the city's downtown area. Officers say the shooting happened around 3 this afternoon on Kojic Square. Now, so far, there's no information regarding a motive or the age or identity of the victims. News 3 reporter Leandra Head breaks down what we know and talked with people living in the area about the recent gun Suffolk violence. Suffolk police are still here on the scene after a shooting that left one person dead and another seriously injured that was taken to the hospital. As you can see behind me, police are still here and have an active presence here in the neighborhood. They do have this area behind me blocked off. Residents who live in Cypress Manor say the sound of gunshots are too common. Every weekend, pow, 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 right in front of your door, right in front of the house, and you don't know who it is because you, you're not looking out in the windows. <laughs> so you just try to mind your business and keep living, keep going to work, keep going to school. Val and her 17-year-old daughter, Caitlin, say they were in their apartment trying to enjoy their quiet Sunday when they heard several gunshots outside. Just heard a lots of gunshots, and I heard my children like, you know, upstairs, like, oh my God, oh my God, because what we normally do is dive to the floor. But it's, it's very sad. We've become desensitized to the shooting mm -hmm. because it happens so, so much. Police have not yet released any names of the victims or any suspect information. Once we had gotten up and we looked out, you know, that's when we saw some of our neighbors going back and forth across the street and we realized it was someone laid out over there on the ground. Both Val and her daughter say they don't come outside much. I have kids, you know, I'm trying to get her through high school. You know, I have a granddaughter that plays out here. Val says her mechanisms for coping with gun violence includes. You pray and you live and you try to mind your business and hope that nothing bad happens to you. Suffolk police are still investigating this shooting incident. Now, if you have any information, you are urged to contact police. In Suffolk, Leandra Head, News 3.